Stockholm is growing, and with new developments comes greater urban concentration, as we see here at Årsta Bay. The new buildings lie in close proximity to two railway bridges across Årsta Bay, and passing over these bridges is the entire rail traffic in and out of Stockholm in a north-south direction. One of the bridges is a modern red concrete construction. The other bridge was built in 1929 and has been classed as an historical landmark of exceptional quality with an arch bridge of steel in a classic truss superstructure. The old Årsta bridge has a twin track and a train passes along the bridge every six minutes around the clock. The old Årsta bridge has recently been renovated and reinforced. When the bridge was reopened for train traffic, it was noted that the noise levels had increased in comparison to earlier levels. The noise had to be decreased, and the task to accomplish this was assigned to Vibratech. A big challenge was to find a solution that could be implemented without disturbing the constant rail traffic. It could be proven that the noise came from vibrations in the steel structure, and that the increase was mainly in low frequencies. A solution could have been to introduce a vibration isolation under the track. This would have decreased the vibration entering into the bridge's structure. But because the transport agency required a solution that did not disrupt the rail traffic, it was impossible to accomplish. All measures to be taken must occur below the bridge deck to enable normal service to proceed. Vibratech chose to test a noise damping technique known as Constrained Layer Damping CLD. It entails that a noise damping material is pressed, constrained, against the steel structure of the bridge. The vibration is catched between the steel plates and dampened in the constrained layer. In order for this to work properly, there must be full contact between the surfaces of damping material and steel. Another problem to consider is that the damping must function during winter as well as summer. Vibratech built a full-scale mock-up model of a bridge beam and undertook a number of tests of various damping materials, different thicknesses at both plus and minus temperatures. The results from these tests could then be put into a computer model of the bridge. By use of statistical energy analysis, SEA, the future noise reductions could be calculated for different materials. Vibratech could conclude that damping the bridge structure would result in a 6 decibel noise reduction using the CLD method. On the basis of this analysis, the transport agency decided to implement measures for the noise damping of Oshda Bridge using constrained layer damping panels. Work began in the autumn of 2017. First of all, 66,000 bolts had to be welded in place. The bolts were closely positioned to achieve the required pressure on the panels and the firm contact between the damping material and steel structure. The bridge deck and its beams were all covered with CLD panels. Meanwhile, the trains continued to pass just two meters above. Before any mounting could begin, the surfaces were carefully cleaned to ensure an optimal contact between the noise damping coating on the panels and the steel structure of the bridge. Following this, around 5,000 panels were fitted. There were 270 different shapes to make sure that every part of the bridge could be covered. The panels were painted in the same color as the bridge, not to affect its appearance, which was important considering that the bridge is classified as an historical landmark. To ensure effective damping all the year round, the panels contain two types of damping material, one being adapted to warm weather and the other to a cold climate. The installation continued into the summer of 2018. After this, the noise levels were measured to validate whether the operation had had the intended effect. Vibratech had used the CLD technique on earlier assignments, but this is the first time it has been applied to a steel bridge. An overall decrease in noise is welcome, but most important is that the disturbing low frequencies have been filtered out so that residents in the area are less bothered by the flow of rail traffic.